Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world. Um, it is very windy, sorry for the sound, but I can't move at the moment. I need to make a very short TA video because it's a, I see something very exciting on the charts. But I'm also driving to Playa de Carmen back today. So I need to pack my bags and leave the hotel, have some breakfast, say goodbye to all the people uh, that we met again here and then drive. So very short TA video, maximum 10 minutes, I'm promising you because I'm going to go very fast very short just to show you what I think is happening let's jump into the first chart this one BAM This is the four hour chart guys, the four hour chart. Sorry for the wind again, but on the four hour chart, we can see that we saw the golden cross, like I said, and yes, we came back a little bit. We retested the green line and we went up again and we came down a little bit, but the pattern we're seeing is that we see a higher low every time again, low, higher low, higher low, higher low, and what do we see with the highs? High. Higher high, higher high, higher high. Which means this, we are in the upward trend. And now we have a lot of circles on the on the screen. Um, but the golden cross, like I said, I, we are th I think we are going to propel really high to 80K or something. And um, you also have this pattern on the screen, but we can't see exactly what pattern it is. At least I can't see it. Because if you check all the different patterns, is my face in the screen? Yes, it is perfect in the screen. Then you can see, for example, here, I just popped up this, uh, this screen over here. This are the, these are the patterns, you know, and you have um, many different patterns and I will put my script face to there and it's difficult to see. Are we at the moment in a rising wedge or, uh, I sorry, in the right top and a rising wedge or are we in this one in the rising wedge? Are we coming from down? So that would be that we will be falling down again. This rising wedge is also saying we will fall down again or are we on an ascending triangle? Um, that would mean we have a upwards or downwards movement. So there is many possibles, uh, possibilities in this pattern. So I don't find this pattern very clear. So that's why I prefer to say no, to, to say like this. No, I don't see a clear pattern. I just see this trend line going up, higher highs, higher lows. So for me, um, I can extend the line. Let's go up, 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 like that. That is what I see at the moment, guys. Ethereum, all the Ethereum community, congratulations again with a new all-time high. The, the, the line that I drew on top over there, that is the 4,200. That is when we triple Ethereum uh, previous ultimate so we need to break that one we are finding some resistance over there if we break that then then we did the same at Bitcoin did we tripled the ethereum price of the previous ultimate just like Bitcoin did so when we do that yes the small pullback can always happen Litecoin finally broke the huge resistance here this one and bam here that the resistance of 360 you know that was the previous ultimate there we broke it Litecoin is going up probably coming to retest the line and then going up a little bit more because Litecoin didn't even double yet so let's see if that happens that Litecoin will go to 700 US dollar let's jump into next very exciting charts and then I will make an end to it these are BAM these charts very important charts I'm going to make my face very small like this or maybe not I will keep it here in the bottom like this this chart is a very interesting chart. I saw it posted by Willy Who. Who else? Willy Who. Who else? <laughs> but check this chart. The areas over here and over there are the areas that the bitcoins are moving from the weak hands to the strong hands. So the moment we go below this midline over here, this this, this dotted line more and more bitcoins are moving from the weak hands to the strongholds normally it happens for a short period of time just before this huge bull run starts that is exactly when you see these areas the strange thing now is that it is happening big time i think almost 128 days all the weekends are selling 
to the strongholders, which means these are the institutional investors, the you know the the, the mass mutuals, the micro strategies, the peoples, um, the Elon Musk's, Teslas buying up the bitcoins. They are buying the bitcoins from the weak hands. So people are taking their profits because they think the bull is over. But the strong hodlers, the uh, smart investors, institutional investors, they are buying up all your bitcoins. That is what we can see here. And that is again what will happen just up front of that huge bull run. You see it. Okay, very clear. Next chart. Bam. This one. Also checking if my face is not in the screen. It's not in the screen. Perfect, Didi. You're getting better. Um, I saw a beautiful document about this chart. I still need to re-read this document because it's a very long one. But I like the post. And the post is um, exploring the price model on demand. And it's very cool. Um, I will post the link of this article down below the video. It, 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 it's, it's predicting the price on demand. So the offer of Bitcoin plus the demand creates the price in a very cool model he created. And he's saying that, that red line, that is like um, the top, the conservative fit top. And we have the blue line at the bottom, it's an aggressive fit top, uh, bottom, like say like that. And so we would reach in his model, a price of uh, 300,000 US dollar over there. And the date would be September 2022. No, the ninth week, I sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm wrong. The ninth week of 2022, so that's uh, somewhere in February. That is what he is saying. Um, the other models are saying that we will reach a top somewhere between September and December this year at 21. So that would be, this is the first week of 2021, this is the 21st week, and this is the 41st week of 21. So that would be in this area, the other, as I'm saying. If we reach it in that area, that is still above 100K. This model is saying, no, 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 the model is going to be longer. So we are going to extend all the way into February of 2022, where we will reach the top of 305,000 US dollar. And it's also saying, if we look at the blue line, that this area would be the new bottom. Because if we look at the blue line, you know, this er this blue line over here, um, it is the bottom over there, and then it becomes the bottom over there, and it always goes higher, it's the bottom over there, it's the bottom over there. So if we would follow this model, then this blue line is going to curl up a little bit. Um, can I draw this? Yes, I can. I, I need to put this one gone and the blue line is of course going to curl up a little bit, a bit with it and then also coming down a little bit but then the new bottom would be like around 100k really cool chart i just want to share with you uh, keep it short you need to go bam another really cool chart is this one and the bitcoin after the third halving this orange line is where we are exactly at the moment the blue line is the average line of the previous halvings so the growth of the I need to say very correct, correctly. This blue line is the average growth after the previous halvings. So this blue line, that one over there that I, I just now didn't point, but the square, this blue line on top, this is the average growth after the previous halvings. The orange line is the current growth. So the blue area, the cloud area, that is the range defined by the previous halvings. You can read it over there and you can read what the uh, blue line is over there and this is of course the uh, orange line so we are now around this mo moment over there we would expect something to happen like this guys you know go up go up we stay maybe under but that would be more than 200,000 US dollar and then yes from that moment on of course uh, we could also see the line uh, doing the same movement again so from there the, ah, from there line would of course go like this again sideways again maybe yeah, something like this could happen guys so this is a really cool chart to show you again that yes the bull run top is not in uh, also this one is saying above 200,000 US dollar that is beautiful bam that were all the videos for today oh, not all the videos there was only one video the second video is going live today uh, later a family video uh, but that was all the charts for today i hope you really enjoyed it yes i'm really in a hurry sorry for that tomorrow again a relaxed ta video with a little bit more information but please if you did like the video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and please leave a comment as i love to respond to your comments yes tomorrow i will also do a bfat a bam bam and a tick tick update video and guys please 
please always remember if you want to sign up to these exchanges use the referral links down below this video to Bybit, to Dudex, to PrimeXBT, to Binance. Use our links as we share the fear, fees, fear, no we share the fees with poor people all over the world. Yes they need to shave and no I didn't bring my razor here to Mahawal. So guys thank you for um, watching sorry for the sound give it a thumbs up and see you later today and else tomorrow again